Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Telecom video. We're going to be discussing a recent news from Valve regarding, wait for it, the Steam OS. Yes, that's right. Valve are actually working on an operating system. As some of you may be aware, if you go to Steam, steampowered.com slash living room, you'll actually be taken to a countdown. Now, at the moment, there's actually one bubble, if you will, that's lit up with a countdown. There's roughly 48 hours remaining as I currently record this video, which means that obviously there's going to be things revealed every couple of days. And the statement says, and I quote, Steam is coming to a new operating system as we've been working on bringing Steam to the living room. We've come to the conclusion that the environment is best suited to delivering value to our customers in an operating system built around Steam itself. Steam OS combines the rock solid architecture of Linux with a gaming experience built for the big screen. It will soon be available for free standalone operating system for living room machines. Now, we know that Microsoft have been in Steam's and Valve's targets for a while. Valve haven't really enjoyed the way that Microsoft have been pursuing things, and they've been stating that they've much preferred the Linux way of open source, and this seems to be exemplified here. They are stating that finally you don't have to give up your favorite games, your online friends, or your Steam features you love just play on the big screen. Steam OS running on any living room machine will provide access to the best games and user-generated content available. In this, they'll also have home streaming. So let's say you have a beastly powered PC in your, I don't know, study or whatever. Then you can have a very cheap system and actually just stream your games. This is very similar, of course, to what, say, Sony are doing with their streaming services as well. Well, they've also said that in SteamOS, we have achieved significant performance increase in graphics processing, and we're now targeting audio performance and reductions in input latency at the operating system level. Game developers are already taking advantage of these games as, as they target SteamOS for their new releases. Now, I want to jump on this for just a moment. I don't exactly know what they're referring to in terms of achieved significant graphics increases in performance. Because in relation to what is a bit of a stretch, I mean, are they in talking in, say, relation to a version of DirectX or Windows, or are we talking about the Linux native platforms? A little bit uncertain about that. I guess Steam, uh, Valve will elaborate as it continues on. They're also stating that Steam is not a one-way content broadcaster channel. It's a collaborative, many-to-many -many entertainment platform in which many participant in, participate. I'm sorry, in a multiplayer of experiences with everyone else. So Steam OS openness means that the hardware industry can iterate in the living room and much faster pace than have been able to. Content creators can connect directly to their customers. Users can alter or replace any of the software or hardware they want. Gamers are empowered to join the creative. The, of creations of the games they love and Steam OS will continue to evolve but will remain on a hardware designed to foster those kinds of innovation. Now, it appears that they're also stating things that they're also going to be working with media services. So we're going to be seeing, for example, be able to access music and videos and so on with the Steam OS. And we're also going to be able to uh, also do family sharing and also family options. So in other words, if you don't want your little, you know, kid Jimmy, for example, to have access to Bioshock Infinite, well, then you can put some locks on that. Similarly, you can also, for example, share games with someone else's Steam account. And this has been something that Valve have been hinting at for a while. Um, and to be honest with you, it sounds really cool. Um, it's still very early days to actually know what this is really going to eventually lead to and how it's going to work. This is definitely a major step forward. It's obvious that they're going to be taking a version of Linux, whatever that base um, version may be, and made significant changes to it. Likely stripping out anything that's not gaming related and focusing on a core version of Linux that's specifically tailored to the best performances in gaming. We do know that they're also working on things such as new debugger scripts and so on for gaming. If they can get big partners, for example, the Electronic Arts, for example, Capcoms and Konamis and so on, to start embracing this, for example, if the new Call of Duty comes onto this or Battlefield, then I can start seeing this making some traction. I can definitely start seeing this be really attractive for gamers. Anyway, that's just about it for this particular video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.